Hi everyone and welcome back along to my channel today. I'm introducing you to my new pinhole camera. This is the Holger 120 WPC which is wide pinhole camera. Um, I brought this as a bit of a panic buy but um, I've always kind of wanted one um, but I took the opportunity to get one before prices suddenly shot up. But um, let's take a look and see what's inside it. So inside the box we've got the camera a strap, uh, instructions, um, and another film mask. So the camera comes with a little lens type cover to cover the pinhole. And to operate the pinhole it is a simple push there and then it springs back. So you've got to hold it to open, it doesn't click, click in place which would be quite nice if it did. But, uh, but you can also put a cable release in the side which we'll come to in just a minute. Up here you've got your windy on film knob, click down to open it up. So inside you've got these film masks which just click out. Uh, one will have a number 8 on it, one will have a number 6 on it. That indicates the amount of shots you'll get. Um, so that is the 6x12, this is a 6x9 and then all you do is you click them in place you then load up your film put on the back cover click it back in place uh, if you are on the 6 shots, the 6x12 you put the little window down to 12 um, if you're doing 6x9 you put that up there to the 16 and with that you'll get the 8 shots it's a bit stiff so then you wind that on until the number 1 appears in the window which will probably be upside down uh, the way this winds on and then you take your shot and then you right wind it on every every other so it'll be 1, 3, 5, 7 and so on which other cameras normally move this window over here and we'll, you, then you just do it in twos which is a lot easier to count up to be honest with you. But this is what I'll have done and it will work fine. Um, it's got a little bubble level on top. Um, these are to obviously work out uh, what you can get in your image will be with the 6x12 option. And that is it. Let's have a look at the cable releases. Now one issue I find with the cable releases for this, which I think a lot of people have issues with, is I here have three. Now, what I have noticed with these is the needle at the end all opens at different lengths. So if we just have a quick look, I'll put them all together. One, two, and three so I'll just push all these out now that is actually a huge huge difference between each three of them uh, these two are commonly brought on Amazon and stuff. This is uh, an old one which came with an old camera. Um, which for a lot of the time, you probably wouldn't be too much of a problem. But what I have found on the Holger, which I'll show you when I attach these, is they don't always work quite so well, these ones. So attaching the uh, cable release is easy enough. You just screw it into the side. Now this cable is um, the one that opened the shortest and if we look it hardly even opens the pinhole shutter. It goes about halfway and that's about the most you get out of it. So let's attach the second cable. This one opened a little bit further. Mm. 
Now one thing I noticed with this one is if you are gentle it's really bad but if you put a bit of force into it it's better. It seems a bit hit and miss if you do it gently it just doesn't really open up properly at all unless you're really forceful with it and then it's still not actually open fully uh, you see a lot of pictures online where a lot of these cameras have a bit of a heavy vignetta around it where something is clearly obstructing it and I think this is a lot of the problem and let's put this last cable release in this is an old one I've had kicking around but the end of the thread has snapped off but it does just get in there on that and that one is absolutely spot on opens it up fully every time no problems so I'm gonna have to stick with that of this one hopefully the threads are right it does pop out a little bit sometimes but I'm gonna have to get another one of them so that's a, I think that's quite an old cable release that one so I'm gonna look for some old second-hand ones to keep in the bag um, but that is absolutely fine now for the strap if you want to add that there's got these little notches on the side which you connect it to uh, it's not really something I'd probably want to wear around my neck but other people might um, yeah, all in all, it looks like a nice little camera. Uh, whether it will last or not, Holgers don't have the best reputation, but they are really cheap. Uh, what are my plans with this camera? I have already modified a old filter thread. Uh, this was an old um, 58 to 77 mil thread. I've removed the 58 mil, cut it smooth, and then what I'll do with that is remove this section of the camera and glue it on there so I can attach some filters which I think would be quite nice for it um, I don't, I'm not too fussed about this lens cap thing to be honest with you um, I've never needed one on another camera so the actual pin I was covered with the shutter so I don't think that's going to be a problem removing that so that's my next plan for it um, so why was it a panic buy? So you could always buy Holgers uh, direct from China on uh, suppliers like AliExpress for around £40 and that was delivered to the UK. Um, you could pick them up in England for around 50 quid. Uh, a lot of the sellers on places like eBay and Amazon had just brought them direct out from China. Uh, but you could bypass that and just go straight for AliExpress. However, um, they all now have a um, the Brexit tax put on them. And when I looked at this the other week on AliExpress, it um, was still listed at about £42, but by the time the tax was added, it was 50 quid. There's still, I think, only one seller in the UK I can find at the moment selling on both Amazon and eBay for 50 quid. Um, everywhere else is pu uh, pushing up the prices to 60, 70, some even 80 pounds. So I think that's kind of a thing of what's to come with them with all this extra tax added. Um, like I say, a few months ago, I could have picked it up for 40 pounds. Um, I paid 50 quid for it through this uh, UK seller because it is the same price as shipping it in from China. But yeah, I can see them going up in price, unfortunately, unless things change, but I very much doubt that will be any time soon, so keep an eye out for them. I'll put the links below to the seller on Amazon and eBay. He's the same person selling them, and um, grab them while they're still cheap, because I don't think they will be for much longer. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed this little video introducing my new camera. I'll be out of that soon. Um, I'm hoping I don't destroy it too quickly. Um, I've got a few plans for it. Um, it's going to be quite a nice little one to walk around with and try and get something different with it. But uh, yeah, make sure you subscribe and uh, I'll see you next time I'm out of it and um, we'll see how we get on with this thing. Thanks for watching. See you again soon.